Hey, hey, good morning everybody. It's Patty with Get Personal with Patty. I hope you're a YouTube subscriber of mine. It's not a big deal if you sign up for YouTube and then you can watch some videos and if you subscribe to certain channels, nothing really happens. Like it's not gonna beat you into uh, you know, force you to watch every video that I put out. But it does help my channel and help me build my channel on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube now for a few years. Just recently in the last year, I've gotten up to 480 subscribers. So like everyone on YouTube, I am trying to just make a little bit of side hustle money. I'm not monetized as of yet. So I need your, you know, your subscription. I talk about money. I talk about everything that I talk about on this channel when I'm doing videos for you in the morning. I talk about groceries, meal planning, I do Aldi hauls, Trader Joe hauls, and Super Walmart hauls whenever we're going grocery shopping to kind of show you what we have purchased, and then of course a meal plan to put it together. Every, something that I've been doing in July, a few things that I've been doing in July that I just want to talk about briefly, um, on Sundays I meal plan for the week. And it's not just, I find myself more meal planning lunches for myself healthy lunches I, I make um, a healthy cold salad or a I've been liking the couscous Mediterranean salad for lunches gotta get back to that next week um, this week I did some ramen noodle cold salad um, I do some sometimes some jasmine rice and a protein so I've been creating my lunches on Sunday for the first three to four days of the week. And also in July, I started eating um, yoga bowls. So I do Greek yogurt, strawberries, blueberries, a touch of honey, and some granola. And I have that every morning for breakfast, Monday through Thursday. And I really enjoy it. And it keeps me full so that I can have a light lunch. And then dinner, uh, you know, I try to coordinate for the game at home, which is just Gary and my daughter Grace. Um, but the last couple of days, I think it's just been hot and just busy with other things. I haven't really gotten to making dinner. I like the on your own dinner. Like last night for me, I had cherries, cheese, and crackers. I loved it. You know, that's all I needed. And I made a strawberry uh, angel food cake um, with strawberries, blueberries, and no sugar whip, cool whip. I had a little bit of that. I didn't even finish that because I was really full by nine. And I went to bed early. So, yoga bowls, prepping meal lunches on Sunday, and getting a meal plan together when we go grocery shopping so that we know our money is being used appropriately with, with grocery shopping and not just frivolous spending when we go grocery shopping, which I think a lot of people kind of do because they don't meal plan. They don't know what's in their cabinets and their refrigerator, so they just buy everything they think they need and, you know, then you have an over overabundance. And if you, if you do that, that's great. If you're a monthly grocery shopper, I would love to know about it. So, and how does that work for your family? Like, how much do you spend on a monthly basis that one time, perhaps a month? And then do you have to go back for little things throughout the month? I do go grocery shopping probably once every two weeks. I won't go grocery shopping this weekend because it's my daughter's 13th birthday and we, we have a party with food, etc. So I don't think I'll need, we'll probably have some leftovers going into next week for lunches and dinners. That's my hope anyways. And then there's a week in August that we won't be here. We'll be visiting my mother-in-law. So I will not be buying groceries. You know what? I'm actually, I was going to put down, I already had written my budget for August and I was going to do, I think I wrote down $400 for groceries in August, but I think I'm going to reduce that and challenge myself to not go over 300. And I know some of you are saying, wow, how can you not spend more than, how can you just limit yourself to $300? Well, we have a party this weekend. We're going to have food. We're not going to need it two weeks we're going to be away for a week again we're not going to be here so we don't need to spend groceries that week the second and the fourth week of august i believe that we are going to be okay because um we have groceries 
in our freezer. We have stuff in our freezer and our pantry. And we really should eat it before like the new September comes and then it's I mean for me it's always busy regardless if it's September, August or July. But you know, by having stuff in your freezer and your pantry, you really should eat it and that way you save some money on groceries. That's my focus today. And I just want to tell you that I appreciate you watching my videos and listening to me ramble because, you know, sometimes when I don't get enough sleep, nah. I, I actually, that's the other thing I learned about myself in July. I really just need five hours of sleep. I'm good with five hours. I've been getting up between 4.30 and 5 and I just feel accomplished when I do that. Not today because I did get up later today, but that's another story for another time. Um, yeah. Hey, the other thing is I'm loving my envelopes. I use my envelopes. We have a little bit. Bye.